we have a whole host of luminaries and well-known people, fans, admirers and friends, all of the chieftains down through the years uh, here in the, in the audience tonight. But first of all, while I had the opportunity, while he's right beside me, I thought I would turn to Mr. Derek Bell. Oh and Mr. Bell, you, you look a, a decent, respectable, um, <laughs> nice man. How did yes, you... I was till I joined the chieftains. That's right, that's what I was about to say. Yes, yes. Yes. How did you come to get involved with um, such people? By as... sheer accident. Sure, There's a gentleman sitting up there with a beautiful beard called Alan Tong, and he introduced me to the group in the BBC in the days when I used to play a large version of this thing yes. in the orchestra. Yes. And he thought it would be a good idea to get together. And we drifted together, and we never drifted apart. And, and did you have to give up the day job in order to join them? I didn't actually have to, but they bragged me to. <laughs> they did? They, yes. yes. And what was, what was, what was the a a attitude and the reaction of your friends in the BBC in the North to your joining? Uh, well, I have a feeling that there was a very interesting music director upstairs who took a fatherly interest in me. and. He said, um, whereas, Derek, I'm quite fond of you on your good days, there is no time that I have any time for Paddy Maloney. <laughs> and either you have to make up your mind, you want to play the harp in a very good orchestra with soloists like Heather Harper, or you want to run around with a tatty folk group. <laughs> You see, a tatty folk, folk group. How oh, dare! And that would happen in the little talks upstairs when I was asking leave to get off work to play with the boys. A tatty folk group? Yes. Right enough, I can see what he means. Yes. Yeah. So can I. <laughs> Have you, have, so you, can I. have you enjoyed the travel down through the years? I Derek, certainly huh? have. There's no way I could have afforded in that humble job to have seen the world. Yes. And no have. way, and I've seen every inch of it except Africa and Latin America. And I'm depending on Dr. Maloney to take me there at the earliest <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I will see that the professor in Trinity vetoes his symphony. <laughs> Now, would you, I, it occurs to me, just while we're getting ready the next piece, would you like to, you have three things there, the, the, the oh, harp and the, and the thing and the piano. Indeed. Could you ever sort of give a little, a little eye on, on one of them, any one of them? you give me one guarantee yes. that my piano teacher's not here. No. Right. No. Is Derek Bell's piano teacher here? No. 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 Grand. <laughs> thinking about you and what a romantic fellow you are. And, do you know, and I was thinking how if my name was Gay Byrne, I could shake the world. But I thought I would play you the love music from the second act of Smetana's opera, Dally Bore. And that was it. Can you think of anything more irrelevant? To which... To which, to which one can only reply, eat your heart out, Kathleen Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> All of that.